Eusebio Oscar Scheid, SCJ. Born 8 December 1932 is a Brazilian cardinal priest and Archbishop Emeritus of Rio de Janeiro. Biography <inaudible> 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 Born in Bom Retiro, Yoacaba, Brazil, to Alberto Reinaldo Scheid and Rochalia Jona Scheid, he studied at the Dehonian Fathers Seminary, he earned a doctorate of sacred theology in Christology and was ordained a priest in Rome on 3 July 1960. He taught dogmatic theology and liturgy in Brazil until on the 11th of February 1981 he was appointed bishop of São José dos Campos and consecrated on the 1st of May 1981. Appointed Archbishop of Florianopolis on 23 January 1991, he served in that post for ten years before being named Archbishop of São Sebastião de Rio de Janeiro and Ordinary for Eastern Rite Faithful Resident in Brazil, on 25 July 2001. He officially took over the Diocese of Rio de Janeiro on the 22nd of September 2001. In South America, Scheid also served as President of South Region 4 of the Brazilian Bishops' Conference and Counselor of the Pontifical Commission for Latin America as of 25 November 2002. Pope John Paul II elevated Scheid to the Cardinalate in the consistory of 21 October 2003, the last one held by the late Pope, granting him the title of Cardinal Priest of Santi Bonifacio e Alessio. Honours <laughs> <laughs> and awards Santos Dumont Medal, the 19th of September 2002. Honorary Citizen of the Rio de Janeiro State, conferred by the state's Legislative Assembly on the 19th of August 2002. Aeronautical Medal of Honor, the 23rd of October 2002. The Collar of Judiciary Honor, conferred by the Rio de Janeiro State Judiciary on 8 December 2002 Pedro Ernesto Medal, conferred by the Rio de Janeiro City Council on 10 September 2003 Motion of Honor from the Niteroi City Council, in honor of his Cardinalate, on 8 October 2003 Vote of applause from the Senate of Brazil, in honor of his appointment to the Cardinalate, on 7 October 2003 Motion of admiration and congratulation from the Rio de Janeiro City Council, in honor of his appointment to the Cardinalate, on 30 October 2003 2005 Conclave In the months during which the health of Pope John Paul II failed, Cardinal Scheid, despite being a known conservative, spoke in favor of having an African pope, which many interpreted as support for an eventual candidacy of Francis Arenes. At the conclave, however, although he has not revealed the inner workings of it, many believe that he might have changed his mind and supported Joseph Ratzinger's candidacy. At the day of his departure to Rome, for the funeral of Pope John Paul II, Cardinal Scheid granted an interview at the Rio de Janeiro International Airport that caused some discomfort. When inquired as to his opinion on President Lula as a Catholic, Scheid revealed that he did not believe President Lula to be a true Catholic, but rather chaotic. Since Lula self identifies as Catholic but does not practice his faith. The president was informed of the cardinal's words during a layover in Recife, on his way to the Vatican as well. 
Lula responded that he was indeed a Catholic and that his relationship with God was of a very personal nature. The Brazilian press tried to explore the incident further, seizing the press conference granted in Rome by the four Brazilian cardinal electors at the Brazilian embassy. Reporters questioned the foremost cardinal in Brazil, Claudio Humas, in front of Cardinal Scheid, if he agreed with that description of the president's faith. Humas disagreed, claiming that President Lula was Catholic in his own way. The reporters then immediately turned to Cardinal Scheid, expecting his response, but he declined any further comments. Although that was the end of the public repercussions of Cardinal Scheid's allegations, it is reported that Cardinal Hummers was not made aware that he was commenting on a statement from Cardinal Scheid, and would have later apologized to him for discrediting his words in public and in front of him. Some had feared that the incident could have triggered animosity between the two cardinals, which could have jeopardized Cardinal Hummer's supposed candidacy to the succession of John Paul II. 